Hi, Will here for Sound on Sound at the Summer Nam Show in Nashville with Michael from Wave Distro, who's going to tell us about the new uh, Serpent at Splice Mark II, which has been shrunk down into a 500 series format. So, yes. Michael, what what's the deal here for people who maybe don't know the Splice Mark right, II? Right, exactly. So what it is, is they combine both the classic Rev A 1176 unit with the Rev D unit. They put those both in the same box so that you can choose, say you just want the input stage of the Rev A, the output stage of the Rev D, vice versa, you can do that as well as full Rev A mode and full Rev D mode. So Mike is a master of taking these great giant feats of circuitry and fitting it down in a single unit uh, 500 series modules. So and that's what he's done with this is he's condensed it down into that unit. So and it's the exact same transformers, the exact same circuitry, exact same sound. The only thing that is, uh, that is missing from the large size 2U unit is that it does not have the effects send in return that the large unit does. And instead of having five sidechain filters, it has a single one and that's on and off. It also does not have the transformer loading function. You can make a little darker and more vintage sounding. He is working on that. He's not sure if it's going to be able to include it or not in the tiny little bit of space he has left. If he's going to squeeze that in there. So he's, he's messing with that idea now. But besides that, it sounds completely identical. And it's really brilliant they were able to get it into that unit. So. OK, so can you speak to the, uh, the sound differences then for people who maybe haven't used the original Blue Definitely. Stripe and the, the Rev-D? Right, so the, the Rev-A is, is famous for being very aggressive. This was before the low noise circuitry in the, in the later Rev-D models and, and uh, Rev-C when they first introduced the, the low noise modules. So it's it's kind of situation. It's a little grittier and more in your face. People love it on drums, rock vocals, rap vocals, pop vocals. So if you want up front and center, um, blatantly in your face, it's got more coloration, more aggressive. The Rev D, it still has that in your face aggressive nature of the FET compressor. A little smoother though, a little more refined, lower noise. So granted, his Rev A model, you don't get as much noise as the original unit, so that's a big benefit. It is slightly different, uh, slight difference in the amount of gain and noise between the two units, but you don't have to deal with uh, the original level of noise that was in the Rev A that's borderline and usable in today's recording studios. So. Okay, right, and so essentially we've got two compressors in one. Exactly. Two completely different and you characters. can switch the two with the matrix as well. So what's great as well is the famous all buttons in mode, Brit mode, some people call it, where you push all four buttons in, someone discovered. Um, you get an infinite ratio and, and a crazy coloration in your face, and people seem to love it on drum buses and snares and things of that nature. You can engage that with this unit, and it's called the slam mode. So you turn that on, but then you can change your ratio any way you want, uh, any way you want. So you're not stuck with that infinite ratio. You can even turn the compression off if you want, and then use the wet and dry uh, parallel mix knob to blend it in as a color unit if you want, or you can set the ratio two to one, four to one, anywhere you want it, so you're not stuck with the crazy amount of compression that comes with that all buttons in mode normally. You can tailor it exactly to the application. How does that work then, having the, the slam mode engaged? You're not, you're not then limiting it? No, when you, when you engage the slam mode, so it is, it's treating the circuitry the same way, but the compression circuitry is different. Oh, I that. see, right. So when you go and do that, you can switch the ratio anywhere you would like it. So you can even bypass um, and turn to a one-to-one -one ratio and use it strictly as a color box. I see. And then use the mix knob and use it um, and blend that to taste. Or you can go to two to one, four to one, and 20 to one ratio, whatever fits the application, and blend that, that all buttons in mode characteristics with the compression style of your choice. OK, and is it stereo linkable? It is stereo linkable, yes. Both the full two rack unit and the 500 series is both linkable and has a switch right on the front that you can do that. Perfect. So, how much is it going to cost then, and when will it be available? So the 500 series unit, it is 9.99. We're hoping to start releasing it. Or Mike is starting to hope uh, start releasing it Monday. So the five or the full 2U rack unit is currently available. It's 14.99. So and yeah, the only thing you're missing out with that that little one, if you could even call it missing out, is the effects send and return. You uh, only have the one high pass sidechain filter and the transformer loading, but besides that, completely identical. All the fun stuff is there. Perfect. Right, exactly. So it's awesome because it seems like a lot of their units, it's, it's plug-in level features and versatility put into a hardware environment. You know, So they have things that are normally wet and dry knobs and tons of sidechain filters and, and even that slam mode feature. 
where typically you would only see that in a plug-in format and you get it in a real piece of hardware. So, and, and it costs a fraction of a lot of the original units. So, especially because a Rev A can go, I saw it go for $15,000 on eBay recently. So, it's a nice alternative to have nowadays. Absolutely. So, great. All right, great. Thanks very much, I appreciate Michael. you taking the time. Thanks. Cheers.